channel. So today I decided to do a makeup tutorial using the Dose of Colors Hidden Treasure Palette. It is a beautiful palette and the eyeshadows are ridiculous. I'm not even kidding. If you guys have the palette, you know what I'm talking about, especially the shimmery shades. They are so pigmented. It's unbelievable. This has become one of my new favorite palettes and I decided to do a makeup tutorial using it. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then let's get into the video. Bye guys. So for primer today, I'm going to go in with Becca Cosmetics Backlighting Primer. I love this. It gives a really nice glow to my skin. And then for foundation, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Matte and Poreless um, in the shade 128 and blend that out with the Beauty Blender as per usual. You guys know this is my ride or die. I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. I am obsessed with this concealer. It is perfect. If you guys are looking for a really nice creamy concealer, go for this one. Now to make sure my concealer does not crease, I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder with the Morphe M438 brush. I love this brush. It is my go-to for setting my under eye with any powder. I love it. And now to set the rest of my face, I'm just going to go in with a really fluffy powder brush and then just apply that to my entire face to set my makeup and make sure my face doesn't get oily. For contour today, I'm going to go in with the Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm going to apply that with the Makeup Geek Blush Brush. I love the Benefit Hula Bronzer. It is my go-to bronzer. It is amazing and doesn't make my skin look too muddy when I'm contouring. And then I'm going to apply the rest of that around the temples of my face with the MAC 138 brush just to bronze up the skin a little bit and then blend out the contour a little bit. And then to shape up the contour, I'm just going to apply the Translucent Setting Powder underneath that contour. Blush today, I'm going to go in with the Becca Cosmetics Face Palette in the shade Amaretto. This is from the Jaclyn Hill palette that she just created. And then for highlight, I'm going to go in with the ABH um, highlighter in the shade Riviera. And I'm going to apply that with my Morphe M501 brush. I love this brush for highlighter. And then for the rest of the face, I'm just going to put Prosecco on top of that because Riviera is a pink shade and I wanted to warm it up a little bit with a golden highlight. And then I'm just going to wipe that translucent powder away and your contour is cut. So for eyebrows today, I'm going to go in with the ABH Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. I usually use their pomade for my eyebrows, but lately I've been loving a brow pencil to uh, fill in my brows and to make it a little bit more natural looking. So since I have pretty full brows, what I do is just outline the shape of my natural brow shape and then just fill in the sparse areas where it is needed. To set my eyebrows, I'm going to use the Benefit Cosmetics new Gimme Brow in the shade 3. I'm so excited. I got it in my birch box and I can't wait to order the full size when it comes out. Moving on to eyes, my transition shade today will be the shade Locket from the Dose of Colors Hidden Treasure Palette and I will be applying that with my Morphe E27 brush. I love this brush. This is one of my favorite brushes from Morphe. It is perfect for blending out all those colors in your crease. To deepen up the crease a little bit, I'm going to go in with the shade Key. This is a nice, just perfect brown neutral color. And then I'm going to apply that with my Morphe M505 brush. This is just a little bit more dense and compact brush compared to the E27. Since this brush is a little bit more dense than the E27, it just gives you more control when you're applying your eyeshadow. Then I'm going to go back in with the E27 and just blend those two colors together to make sure our crease is seamless. For brow bone highlight today, I'm going to go in with the shade Pearl. The name speaks for itself. It is a beautiful pearl shape and perfect for any brow bone highlight. For lid color today, I'm going to go in with probably my favorite shade from the palette, and it is called Diamond. It is a perfect rose gold color. The shimmery shades in this palette are ridiculous. There is some fallout, but oh my gosh, the pigmentation is ridiculous. I'm going to take Ruby, which is a really nice shimmery rust red color, and then apply that to the outer third of my eye. And then for the inner corner of my eye, I will be applying Gemstone, which is a beautiful shimmery champagne color. To make this look a little bit more smoky, I'm going to be applying the shade Key to my lower lash line. I'm going to smoke that out with a pencil brush from Makeup Geek. For the waterline today, I'll be applying the Rimmel Smoke and Shine in the shade Copper Bling. Copper Bling. 
I decided to create a wing with this look and I'll be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper. For eyelashes today, I'm going to go in with the Violet Boss Lashes in the style Vamtress. These have been my go-to dramatic lashes lately. Now I'm going to go back in with that shade Key with my Morphe M505 brush just to deepen the crease up a little bit more and add a little bit more dimension to the look. For lip color today, I'm going to first line my lips with ColourPop's Aquarius Lip Liner. I love this. It's a perfect nude lip liner. And then on top, I'm going to add... Um, the liquid lip from ColourPop as well in the shade Bad Habit. It's just a beautiful, very liquid lip. enjoyed this tutorial if you did like this video and you do like me then can you please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you guys get notifications every time I upload so I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys